YouTube, YouTube, what it do, love ones. You know the motto if you can. After the story, go over there, hit me with a like, which is the thumbs up. And that'll let me know I'm kicking my stuff. This right here is the Anthony's Park Bloods and the Bonnie Hunter conclusion wrap up, homie. And the reason why I say it's the conclusion wrap up is because I didn't already chopped it up and politicked with the big homie OG Bonnie Hunter BJ about this homie and was granted to be able to wrap the last conclusion up from the homie. He granted me to wrap the last conclusion up, homie. You know, however I wanted to deliver it in dialogue. Homie. And uh, what brought about our conversation is uh, the topic that I chose to bring to the platform from one of the homeboys from Athens Park Bloods, homie. And the reason why we particular chose that, or should I say, the homie, the reason why the homie particular chose that is because, homie, not only is this platform I'm setting, it's 89 on up, just my delivery of my life. It's also to bring other homies history and enlightenment to the channel as well. Homies can bring their history and enlightenment to the channel as well, homie. But to dig in what I'm saying, homie, dig into really what I'm saying is we also taking a platform for different homies eventually to get on here and plus myself and to change our wrongs to some rights on here, homie, within our beat all community, homie. Because a lot of us did things to each other that, you know, was isolated and then moved from isolated to just everybody being involved off the simplest things, homie. You know, just like the story that both of the big homies shared, homie. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of dudes don't know that, homie. A lot of young homies don't know homies fell out off some weed back then or fell out off $100 or fell out off a female or fell out of this. And, and if a lot of young dudes with sense that's kind of running these ships or got a lot of leader, leadership with the young homies of their age, peer, and bracket. They could step up and say, homie, that shit is over with. The big homies was on some crazy, silly shit. They grew up. They went past that. Let's don't go over there antagonizing the homies. Don't Let's don't go over there hitting the homies. Or let's, let's break the ice where the homies ain't coming over here trying to hit us where we got to get back on retaliation. So a lot of these stories we finna be telling too, homie, is finna be changing our wrongs to rights within this Damu community, homie. So anyway, the young homeboy that be following 89 on up, homie, catching this Tulagy, he's kind of like, you know, just, just dialoguing, homie. He getting history on this, you know, on this journal, young journalism thing with, with the gang culture. So he taking notes as I send it. So the first answer he wanted to get at me and ask me, homie, from looking at OG Bonnie Hunter BJ, he had a few questions, homie. And he wanted to know what made dudes not like the Bonnie Hunter Bloods at that time inside the institutions and outside the institutions. He wanted to see, can I send a brief analysis on that, homie? So my brief analysis, homie, what made a lot of dudes possibly look at the Bonnie Hunters, homie, as a force to be reckoned with, as a as set tripper type homies. Cause the homies had a different style about themselves, homie. And with that, and with that east side, it's different than that west side, homie. And the homie from the east side feel and claim and push heavily that they they're the first ones to really get it out the mud with this banging shit, homie. A lot of turfs on that east side, homie. 
and Bonnie Hunter is particular one, homie. So me, this me personally throughout my youth, coming up young, I used to hear the Bonnie Hunters this, the Bonnie Hunters that, the Bonnie Hunters beat these niggas down, the Bonnie Hunters robbed these niggas, the Bonnie Hunters did that. So coming up on this west side, if you weren't so familiar with that east side, we going to build a stigma against the homies from the east side, homie. And, you know, Bonnie Hunters and shit like that. Because a lot of us, we was hood motherfuckers, but we wasn't particularly going to the Nickerson Garden Bonnie Hunters, homie, and hanging with a lot of homies. Like, you know, a lot of OGs before me, they was able to go over there. But when the generation started splendoring off, a lot of us didn't go up into these projects and hang with homeboys like that, homie. We kind of waited for the homies to either come out, participate, and hang out and stuff like that. That's how a lot of us kind of knew about my, my era, homie. So just hearing about them dudes, homie, built a hostility up amongst homies, homie. And then, like I said, within them blood modules, homie, I didn't heard horrific, horrible stories of, of the Bonnie Hunter Bloods moving on homies and performing different acts, you know what I'm saying, of aggressiveness. To, to gain authority inside the jail houses and in these blood modules, homie. So now when, you know, I'm coming up, I'm hitting the blood module, these stories you hear is unfolding, I'm young in the mix of this, homie. I'm a young soldier in the mix of this. So I'm knowing the homies that OG Bonnie Hunter was speaking on, Bonnie Hunter BJ was speaking on, and he didn't really want to get into names, nor did the homies from APB. Wanted to get in names, but dudes that's familiar with this culture, a lot of us knew these names, homie. Ride and homies, you know, from family, from swans, from the jungles, from my turf, different homies. Now, for me being in there, homie, I'm knowing how the Bonnie Hunters move, homie. You know, now, so that story that the homies was talking, now, when they coming back to try to regain power, I'm not going to say trying to regain power, but pushing back for their power from after the get down in an episode with the homies, they started, you know, with Bonnie Hunters, they always going to get their numbers up, homie, and they stay strategical moving. So as their numbers was getting back up, I'm falling in now, and we're still in their move that OG Bonnie Hunter BJ is talking about with the side tweezels in the he's half, all weezites with the streezites, bay wusses, homie. So we still in the move, homie. So I fall in there right when that's shimmering. A lot of my big homeboys from my turf, they didn't left to the pen, either hit the street. So I'm the second wave of homies coming in, and we still in that get down, and the homies is telling me how to move, homie. And then on top of that, I go to the county jail. But at them times, the homies will bail you out, a solid homie. They'll help provide a bail for you to get you to the streets because they knew you was loyal, honorable, to probably help they females run, twist, make extra moves to make sure the whole is all together. So I was nominated for the homies to help bail me out to get to the streets. That's how I'm able to steal they move with the size tweezels and the he's half all whites with the street zipes and make moves and get the homies platformed, homie, and shit like that. So anyway, to cut in and dig into this, homie, this is when Diamond Red, certain other homies from Bonnie Hunters is in there, homie. So now they're sending out repercussions of all this getting out. So this would make other homies get involved that turn against the Bonnie Hunters or have aggressions towards the bonnie hunters because when the bonnie hunters get to targeting motherfuckers, they really don't care who they targeting once they get on. When you coming past, they sit. They throwing apples at niggas' heads. They spearing niggas like OG Bonnie Hunter BJ said. They spearing niggas. So we knowing when we coming past these niggas, we know to be shower rolled up. We knowing this, homie. And that's not just one story. That happened with the homies from Bonnie Hunters. It's several stories, homies. Several stories I can name personally where we had to come out and it was it was all hell. But that's another get out, homie. So these dudes, at the time I get out on the bell and come back in, it's function. They didn't hit it. So by them say so so my I'm from NHP, my relative from VNG or my relative from Brims. 
that's going to bring, and, and the bounty hunters do something to them. Now, they bring another turf into it. So that's how a lot of homies kind of started mounting together to trip on these dudes because it wasn't all about homies that's, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to say it in the blood terminology because I don't like the way just the other way sound just too, you know, messy. I'm going to say the homies that's butt. It wasn't about just the homies that's butt going against these dudes. It was just the whole of uh, the homies targeting and tripping on homies that they thought was going against them or snickering or laughing. That's what brought a lot of beatles to kind of feel they'll move on some hunters or posse up and get some hunters, homie. So anyway, to dig into the other get down, what the young homeboy asked me, do I have a, since I platformed this, fired this up, he said, do I got a Bonnie Hunter story where I want to change a wrong to a right with a homie from Bonnie Hunters? And I said, you know, digging in my mind, archive, I said, yeah, homie, I would like to, Apologize to a homeboy from Bonnie Hunter. Let him know, blood, I love you. And it's Bonnie Hunter rules, Bonnie rules, homie. And a nigga was young and just performing the acts that a nigga thought he was supposed to carry out in his turf, pushing the turf rules, homie. And uh, this particular story, the homie in the Anthony Park blood story, his name was mentioned. And since I want to apologize openly to the homie, I got to say his name, so if he not listening, the apology can go back to him from a homie or a homegirl that's watching this. And that's the homie, I think they called him Main and Main, but they called him in the story T.D. Wee. T.D. Wee, homie, I believe, homie. And uh, Meanie Weed or T.D. Weed or something like that, homie, you know what I'm saying? And, uh... At these times, like I said, certain bounty hunters that come up out these projects and hang openly with other beatles, homie. And sometimes if the homies will carry that project style out into the openly blood community, homie. That aggressive blood, yeah, blood on bounty hunters on BH, they'll bring that style out to the turfs. And it used to be kind of surprising to some of us. So we started taking, like, blood, hold on, it's the hood, homie. So I wound up getting into it with the homie particular from Bonnie Hunter, T.D. Wee, and my turf, homie. And uh, off some sales, homie. He got to making sales rapidly and not, and not, you know, I'm like, blood, let me get, you know. And he, like, running up, bo, kind of bow Billy in the sales, homie. And I'm like, blood, check this out, blood. This ain't the niggas in gardens, blood. This ain't Bonnie Hunter's hood, blood. This Inglewood, this West Side, homie. So we going back and forth. But he still got that habit of going to these sales first, homie. So anyway, homie, I'm not feeling it. It's the turf. And I'm feeling the homie kind of might be trying to press his aggressive style like that. Because, you know, he feel, you know, he from the east side. And, and, and I'm small or something, homie. So anyway, homie, to cut into the story a little more, I wind up trying to mix in on the homie, homie, on the streets, homie, from, from the hunters, homie. I tried to get off, homie. Bam. The homie get off. Bam. We kind of we kind of lock. The homies kind of like, you know what I'm saying, get aggressive with breaking it up amongst us, homie, you know, after we kind of like spin off. But, you know, the homie was more seasoned than me, so he kind of fanned me off a little bit with the, with, with the squabbles, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, homie, time go on, homie. Few years go on, homie, since since this scrimmage me and the homie have from Bonnie Hunters, you know, when he in the turf. So now, homie, I'm fo I'm flexing to these county jail blood modules, homie. And uh so I so so now I get down, you know, spin off on the homie, get down, fire up a game of bullshit off off of my shit inside my turf. I forget about this shit, homie. You know, years go past, I forget about this shit. So I land in the Blood Module County Jail, homie. Maybe in the 97, 98 or something, homie. So a few of my homies is in there, Big 211 and them. A few of my homies. But before that, a few of my other Gs had just left, homie. You know what I'm saying? And uh, 
anyway, so I fall up in there, homie, and uh, I'm on the boards, homie. I'm on the main line when they grab me, homie. I got one French braid, and this shit hanging all down. I was in the process of getting my crop done when OSJ, Operation Bath Gel, come grab me, homie. So anyway, homie. I fall, hit the road, homie. I'm on the road, homie. This went, this went, it kind of was like Pyro Roll. And it was blood, homies, at the bottom. It was like Pyro Rolls and homies up there that mess with Pyro, homies. And, and, and it was like the blood roll at the bottom and shit. Different bloods and shit. So anyway, so when I fall in there, niggas yell, yeah, blood, who's that up there? Blood, who, what, hey, blood, who just bum up there? You know what I'm saying? So I screamed back, yeah, blood gangsta have, blood Inglewood neighborhood pyro. So a few different YGs, homies from Blackstone, I think a few homies from Primo Nim from Blackstone, that's about my age. I ain't sure, but a couple homies from Blackstone, different homies from uh, uh, maybe Deco Nim, I think from a Brim or some homies that I know my age breaking. They yell up there, hey, what's up, Hap? I yell back down, what's happening, blood? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we YG in it at that time. So, in the midst of me yelling to the other homies and, you know, saying my name, letting niggas know I'm up in here laughing on the bars fucking around, uh, uh, I hear a nigga, Funna, Hunna. So, I'm like, blood, you know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping because I'm hearing different homies. I'm, Funna, Hunna. He called one of my homeboys from my turf. I think it was Big 211. Funna, Hunna, too. So, two, two, like, what's up, homie? Kite coming at you. So, a kite come up there, homie. But I ain't really tripping. It's the homie that I done flexed on in the turf, homie from Bonnie Hunter. So the homie pulled the kite up. The homie pulled the kite up. He get the kite. You know what I'm saying? He read it. But I ain't tripping. You know, I'm fresh up in there. I ain't really knowing. You know, these niggas sliding kites and shit. I ain't really tripping. You know, they been doing this already. This state program. So I ain't tripping. I'm yelling at a few homies on the boards. Talking to a few homies in the cell. You know, laughing. Letting them know what's been popping on the streets and shit. And so, in the midst of the homie reading the, uh, the kite, he, he looked back at me. Homie looked back at me. So, I look at him, but I ain't really tripping. So, so he writes something. He get his time to write, because when these kites come up, niggas is asking for something. Niggas either asking for some food, niggas asking for this, niggas asking for that. You know, all kind of shit. And at these times, niggas from Bonnie Hunter, they, they used to be selling phones, burn out phones and shit, different niggas. So the homies had been telling, you know, from how they call the streets and all that shit, you know, I knew they had the line, different homies had the line on phones and shit. So anyway, homie, the kite come through, like I say, niggas either asking for something, waiting for an answer. So the homie, I see the homie striking. He sent a pitch the kite back down there. The homie look at me, he like a, a nigga want to fade with you, homie. I'm like, who want to fade, homie? So he like, uh, think Main or Main or T T D Weed. One of the homie names with the weed, Mini Weed or something like that, homie. Blood, excuse me, blood. You know, I, if I didn't uh, uh, say your name properly right, homie, excuse me, no disrespect. So, the, so when the kite come up, homie, the homie tell me, you know, that, that I got a fade coming. So I'm on the street, homie. This is the 90s, niggas. You know, I'm all in, homie. Good, homie. I ain't took no drop, no L's and none of that shit. For us, just, you know, bang, I'm on the line with it. So I ain't got no problem with getting my ass whooped or getting down or whatever. So I'm like, blood, I'll get down. Homie's like, nah, blood, blood, been working out, blood. So I'm like, blood, who is blood? Homie, who the fuck is y'all talking about, homie? You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling the homies, I'm the homies like, nah, you ain't gonna be. I'm like, blood, I got mine, homie. So when they, so the homie too tell me, blood, it's the homie from Body Hunter's blood. Say you, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you dope fiend him. You got all for him and all that shit. He, you know, nigga couldn't really, you know, really do his thing because he felt like, you know, it would have went a whole different way because he wasn't inside of his turf. And I'm like thinking, I'm like, oh, blood, that's the homie. So I remember, so I'm like, man, I got that. So, but the homies, I think it was big too. Maybe a J Stone. It was a couple different homies. 
So homies was like saying, who we know gonna take the fight, but I'm like telling niggas, please, blood, let me just go get my ass whooped and get down. But niggas like, nah, blood, it ain't about that. It's about looking good in this motherfucker. So we can't let, at this time, like I said, the hunters is coming back on they thing, homie. So they tripping on everything, tripping on, on shit and all kind of shit. So the homies like, blood, niggas ain't trying to take no hell with these niggas. These niggas is on one. So blood, we gotta send a good squabbler down there. It ain't about taking the fade, getting mopped. It's gonna, it goes, we need a good squab. We need that shit to go all the way right, blood. We don't need our shit like this with them niggas right now, homie. So, anyway, homie, to dig into the story a little more. So, I'm up in there. I ain't seen the homie from Hunters in years, homie. So, one day, I think they get out to serve on the tier and shit. So, I remember that nigga climbed up there, to climbed up the bars, to, to up on the road where we was at. Niggas used to do that, jump up there, look up there, and be talking to homies up on the other road. So he come up on the other road and shit, and he like, yeah, what's up, blood? Bonnie Hunter, what's up, uh, uh, half? I'm like, what's up, blood? Woody, woody. He like, you know we got to do our thing, homie. I'm like, yeah, no thing, homie. You already know, blood. It ain't no, you, you ain't even got to go to here like that, blood. You got that. I'm just talking that shit, you know what I'm saying? But I'm looking like the homie got some size. He been working out, been down for a minute. I'm like bluffing, blood possibly finna dog walk me. But I'm like, fuck it, we young. That shit ain't nothing. So anyway, homie, I'm lounging, homie. You know what I'm saying? Court time come in like OG Bonnie Hunter, BJ say. Niggas be up half the night and all that shit. So I finally doze off and shit, homie. And, and, and get wind up getting woke up. I got court. But at this time, they, they snatched different homies from out the blood, mind you, to go to court as well, homie. Different homies got to go to court as well. So at this particular time, I ain't even knowing they didn't snatch the homie up from Bonnie Hunter to go to court that I didn't got into it with before, homie, on the streets and shit. So I'm I'm not knowing that he, he got court, homie. So I think at that time they had a Damu tank, a Damu court tank or something, or a tank that the homies usually filtered in at that time, homie, when, when you come from the modules and shit. So anyway, so when we, so, so bam, I ain't even made it to the tank. But the homies had told me and prepared me, you know, I got sickle cell. So they was like, blood, anytime you get down there and, and, and something look bad, anytime you go to the court tank, they had gave me a cap and everything. Look, the police, look, read their names, homie, and be able to look the police in his eyes and call him by his last name and tell him another police directed you to ask him a question if you need something, homie. So by me taking medication for the sickle cell at that time, when when I when I'm going there, I, I'm knowing this cap case of nine one one come down where I got to get at, be able to try to get up out the cuts from the one time to defend myself for anything. So now I'm I'm so I'm going to court. I ain't knowing the homie from Bonnie Hunter got the same court date as me and shit. So now when I'm flexing towards the tank, I look and I glue in this the homie. So the homie kind of got these eyes, these looks on, his eyes got these look, like, yeah, blood, when you flex up in here, blood, I'm finna fuck you up. So I got my eyes, I'm trying to look brazy too, looking like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, I got the crop at the time, I'm like this, you know what I'm saying, trying to look brazy. So I tell one time, I, I get one time to spill, hey, look, I read his name, call his name, I'll search, check this out, such and such from my floor, it was it was a real rush, I got down here, he told me that he knew you, and that you're pretty cool to work with, that you would let me out the cuff to use the medication, so, you know, to take care of my business, kind of release some of this medication, he bit for that shit, and let me out the cuffs, homie, so when he let me out the cuffs, now I be able to flex up in the tank, and so I'm in my young minds like blood. I finna mix the homie because the homies is telling me how vicious the bunny hunters been doing shit. And I'm gonna keep it clean. They didn't hit, like I said, they didn't hit a nigga relative. They didn't hit nigga. So they bring an aggressor where everybody be looking at these dudes when these dudes be trying to strike back and make moves, homie. So bam. So when we fuck, so so now I'm I'm uncuffed, I'm falling in. So I'm like, blood, I'm finna, I'm finna go in here and get cracking on the homie. Fuck it. So as I bell up in there, homie, the homie stand up with his cuffs like this, homie. You know what I'm saying? Like in like in squabble, but it's like he finna try to start like beat beating, trying to beat me like this and squab like this. So when I come, I think I got both, I got my cuff off and shit. So I, I bell up. I'm like, blood, what's happening, blood? 
So the homie like blood, check this out, blood. That's gonna be a second funny ball move you do, but he got his cut. Blood, that's gonna be the second funny ball, ball shit you do that ain't in the blood standards, homie. You don't fiend the nigga, then you might, then you gonna try to do this. He like blood don't do that shit, homie. So he got to read me my motherfucking rights, homie. Telling the nigga where he wrong at, homie. And telling the nigga where he should be right at, homie. So the homie blessed me with conversation and lacing instead of a demonstration on the incident that me and the homie had, homie. We was able to talk it out. He let me know, like, blood, that was foul. Blood, it wasn't like this. It wasn't like that. Because we all still was a little bit young, homie, when that shit happened. And, and four, five years separated from that, landed us back in one another's faces. So with the homie let me know, like, homie, you can't dope fiend the homie when niggas on the chain and all kind of shit. I listened to him, homie. And I apologized, like, all right, dog. My bad, homie. You know, and I told the homie, blood, if you go back to the blood module, because ni them niggas was on the nigga, homie. The hunters was on me. I was possibly on the list. I tell blood, I'm like, homie, check this out. And this, when I'm blood and tough, this dialoguing to my people from the horde and not to offend none of my crip viewers and shit. But I'm like, you know what I'm saying? When the homie telling me, so, you know, I'm, I'm telling him, you know, blood, I was young. This what it was. This, this, and that. And he apologized for the Bo Billion move that he that he opposed on the motherfucker, homie. But to cut into the story, homie, and make it short, we was able to lightweight rebond, homie. So I said, homie, go back to the module, blood. Since you told me my rights and told me don't get on foul, can you take my name off the list and let the homies know in the blood module it's squashed, it's over with, and it's straight amongst me and you, homie. Can I get that, homie? And he granted me and said, yeah, I'll give you that, homie. So now, in this time, homie, I want to re-apologize in a grown fashion. A nigga that's rounded off damn near to 50 in a few more years, homie. I want to apologize from this status and say, blood, I apologize from being an unbloodly homie at that time. Dope fiend and you trying to get off on you off some petty ass rocks, homie. And I hope in this status, by you being at 50 a little bit more around my big homeboys near majors, that's a little bit over me. Accept the apology, homie. So that's what this channel for, too. If we can man up as blood homies and apologize to each other for bullshit that could have went into other shit like my homeboys say, isolated shit can sometimes blow over to Big shit like this shit we talking about with these modules and shit. Shit from the street can stem back to the jailhouses, homie. So the homie granted me that, homie. While we was able to go up there, get all that shit cleared, I let the homies from my turf and them know how I handled myself properly. And they was proud of me, homie. And uh, that's what it was, homie. 89 on up, G stuff, not G stuff. And I'm going to just keep sending it, homie, history. And I hope other homies that get on here and we can just keep apologizing off certain shit until we can build better bridges with this Don Moo thing, homie. And uh, like I said, man, that's it, homie. That's going to be the final rap and the whole get down on my thing with the Bonnie Hunter, Anthony's thing, and then me telling a wrong that I'm correcting into a right with the Don Moo, homie. 89 on up, G stuff, not G stuff. And I'm out, homie.